You are now listening to Sorel Gore, 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 Gore MD. Sorel Gore MD, don't forget the MD. I've been wanting to make this video for a while, and I sort of forgot about it. And I just got a serious reminder about how I need to talk about this. What is this? This is a TIPS Viator stent graft. It's made by W.L. Gore and Associates. And I'm really excited to have this and to be able to talk about it with you guys. What is the first thing to know about this device? Well, the first thing I want to know about anything is how much does it cost, all right? Sometimes the stores make it hard to find the price tag, and the price tag on this is really hard to find. But I found it. This device costs about $4,000. Right, this is four grand in my hand right now. What's the next thing to know about this device? This is a life-saving device. I've seen it with my own eyes. Used correctly in the right hands, this is a life-saving device. All right. This device is used to perform a TIPS, transjugular intrahepatic protosystemic shunt. All right. This thing is so amazing. I mean, it's so robust. I mean, I can, I can take this device, I can crush it up in my fist, and it just pops right back to normal. Let's just go through methodically and talk about this stent. I just want to discuss some aspects of this stent. All right. So this stent is 10 millimeters in diameter. So it's a 10 millimeter fake blood vessel. All right. It's eight centimeters in length. All right. And you can see it has two portions to it. It has what's called the uncovered portion and it has this uh, covered portion. All right. So this is two centimeters and this is six centimeters. So why the two portions? So basically it sits in the body something like this and this uncovered portion is sitting in the portal vein, typically the right portal vein. And this covered portion, this tip is sitting in the right hepatic vein or sometimes it's actually extended into the right atrium. All right. And this covered portion sits in the trap. So this uncovered portion allows for maximum portal venous inflow. Um, and then this covered portion sits in that hepatic parenchymal tract between the right hepatic vein and the right portal vein. And that covering allows for the stent to remain patent. Okay, it actually allows for improved patency, improved blood flow. It prevents bile from leaking into that tract and decreasing blood flow. All right, so what is this stent made of? You know, what's this covered thing made of? The entire stent is made out of nitinol. It's got a nitinol skeleton. And then this covered portion is actually covered with what's called EPTFE, okay? EPTFE stands for expanded polytetrofluoroethylene, okay? Um, and on this covered portion, it's actually got EPTFE on the inside and EPTFE on the outside, and there's nitinol um, as the skeleton. Um, what is EPTFE? It's basically a very slippery, smooth, uh, fabric-like covering. It's actually the same stuff in, that's in uh, jackets. It's very similar to what's called Gore-Tex. It's actually made by the same company as Gore-Tex. It's made by Gore. And uh, what else is there to know about this stent? So it's what's called self-expanding as opposed to a balloon expandable stent. You don't use a balloon uh, to deliver the stent. It has a high degree of radial force. So as you can see, I can completely crush this stent and I'll just pop right back, or I can sort of partially crush it and it still stays open. So that's that high radial force. Um, it's very flexible, very trackable. Right? I can kind of twist it, I can, I can kind of move it. And this is very uh, important because the tips tracked may be very tortuous. So you need to be able to make sure that you can actually deliver the device to where it needs to go. So that's that, uh, that flexibility, that trackability of the device. How does a tip save a life? All right. A tip saves a life because it prevents life-threatening bleeding from varices. Okay? Portal hypertension is an obstructive process. Okay? Blood cannot flow through the liver because the liver goes from being a soft, delicate organ to being a shrunken, hard mass of scar tissue. Okay? Therefore, it finds these other routes for blood flow, and it typically finds these abnormal uh, veins in the esophagus and stomach, which are called varices. So in theory, a large blood vessel is not bad, but these varices tend to be superficial, they tend to be easily torn open, and they can cause serious life-threatening bleeding. What a TIPS does is it decompresses the portal venous system. It decompresses, it creates a tract from the portal vein into the systemic circulation, into the right hepatic vein or to the right atrium. Okay? And by decompressing that blood, it decreases the blood flow in the varices and basically prevents bleeding. And that's exactly it. This is what this stent does. Um, it can save a life when used correctly. At $4,000, it's worth every penny. Okay, I'm glad this device exists. I'm glad that interventionists have a role 
in placing this device. All right. uh, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for listening to me. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions. Srobar MD, I'm out of here.